London 2012 double sprint silver medalist Johan Blake says the postponement of the Olympic Games carries significance for athletes like himself who have earmarked Tokyo as their last outing at the Games. Karen Madden has been speaking with the two-time Olympian. The International Olympic Committee was one of the last sporting bodies to announce a postponement of the games they preside over. Little wonder though, as the prestigious games not only comes once every four years, but impacts on the economy of the host country. A postponed games also has implications for national sporting bodies, sponsors and fans. But arguably no group was perhaps more disappointed than the 11,000 athletes across Olympic sports. Among them is Jamaica's Johan Blake who is searching for another global title after he became the youngest world champion in 2011. Blake has been a vital part of Jamaica's Olympic gold medal teams at recent games and he admits the COVID-19 pandemic was a major blow. It's very serious what's going on in the world. Um, it's not just all about track and field, it's all about saving life and what really matters and people are just recovering from this. Um, track will always be there, you know, it's just for, for us to, to get over this pandemic that is going on and it, it's a next pushback because I, um, I already wanted, this is going to be my last Olympics and now, you know, I was, I was, I was feeling good. Um, Coach Gregory was um, having the right program. I was running good. My 400 was coming on back and it affected me, but I've just looked forward to next year and it will be better as well. The Olympian also revealed the plans to hang up his spikes, which took him to lifetime best of 9.69 over 100 meters and 19.26 in the longer sprint. Um, retirement was on the card, you know, I'm of different business I've been um, venturing off to, but um, this, this kind of set it back a bit. But um, Olympics, World Championship um, might be the, um, the Commonwealth Games, you know, so I've just um, focused on those. Um, I'm definitely going to do the Olympics and the World Championship and, and see what happened from there. You know, um, I, um, my body been through a lot in, in track and field. I've come back from major injuries and, and to be running, I'm feeling good. And Blake weighed in on the debate over whether a vaccine is necessary before the Games next summer. Well, I've been watching CNN every day and um, definitely it's, it's like a flu-like symptoms and it's very easy to catch and I will, I will agree with them um, knowing that you're going to put everybody at risk when you go out there and compete and run against everybody all over the world. You might never know what the symptom or what it. So well, yeah, definitely and it's going to take two years but well, um, I, I agree with them but something will work out. There has been much debate about the moral dilemma involved in any vaccination protocol after Serbian tennis star and world number one Novak Djokovic said he would not want to be inoculated against COVID-19 because he's opposed to vaccination. Karen Madden, TVJ Sports.